In this video, we take a look at two important forms, uh, formulas in a regular uh, tetrahedron. Regular tetrahedron, um, tetra meaning four, is a poly, uh, polyhedron with four congruent equilateral triangles as faces. So now, when you look at this, what our goal is going to be is to rela relate height and side length. And when you're looking at a pyramid, it's usually a good idea to consider one of two triangles, primarily. Um, either one with the apothem drawn to the midpoint of the side, or, which is the one we're going to use, the radius, which is going to be the center point to one of the um, side lengths. And we're going to use that, or one of the vertices. We're going to use that because we already know H and S, and so it'll make it pretty easy. So to find out that length, though, we're going to draw the base in a less, uh, uh, an easier way to look at, where we have 60 degree angles. And we're going to go from the center to that radius, and we're going to do that by drawing in this triangle, and that triangle turns out to be a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. Since the side length is S, half the side length is going to be S over 2. This is a 30, 60, 90, so the way you get from here to here is by dividing by root 3. And so we can do that calculation over here, which gives you side over 2 root 3. We don't want the root 3 in the denominator, so we multiply the top and the bottom by root 3, and that gives us um, side root 3 over 6. And then to go from the short leg to the hypotenuse, you multiply by 2, and that ends up giving you this length being side root 3 over 3, because side root 3 over 6 times 2 is side root 3 over 3. Now apply the Pythagorean theorem, and you get side root 3 over 3 squared, the right angle happens between the radius and the height, plus h squared equals side squared. Square both, um, take, simplify this, you're going to get, well, side squared times 3 over 9, which equals um, side squared over 3. And so you get side squared over 3 plus h squared equals side squared. Subtract side squared over 3, you get h squared equals 2 side squared over 3, because side squared is 3 side squared over 3. Take the square root of both sides, and you get h equals side root 2 over root 3, by taking the square root of both sides. Now, uh, we don't want the root 3 in the denominator, so we multiply the top and the bottom by that, and that gives us side root 6 all over 3 is the height of a regular tetrahedron. Finding the volume is actually very simple, because the volume of a pyramid, you can see it right over here, is always the one-third the area of the base times the height. Well, we don't know the base, but we do know the height is S root 6 over 3. And the base is easy to define because it's just an equilateral triangle with side length s. And there's a nice formula for the um, area of an equilateral triangle with side length s. And that is side squared root 3 over 4. Multiplying everything out, you get um, up here, side cubed with root 18, which is I'm um, going to be 3 root 2, so 3 side squared root 2, if your side cubed root 2 over 36, but the 3 and the 36 cancel to 12, and you get the volume of a regular tetrahedron is just the side length cubed root 2 all over 12, which is a very nice formula and very worthwhile and use, useful and worth knowing. We're also going to look at later in another video the inscribed sphere and a circumscribed sphere. And in both of those, this height is going to be very, very important. So knowing that side root 6 over 3 is the height is a very important problem.